Fuck, hell no, I'm not using that intro. I'm gonna use a more awesome one. Ladies and gentlemen, let's meet the man who's eager to please. And you'd better believe he's gonna celebrate your party night with ease. Get ready for the man of the back, the man who has the knack, playing the best music in full attack. Hold on tight and you won't miss a beat, and you will simply have to move your feet. So, without further ado, let me introduce to you the man who will entertain you the whole night through. It's the man with the plan. It's the man who can. It's the man who has the potential to become the essential. Hey you, thanks for watching my show. Hi GPS, and today's episode is gonna be about the soldier. That's right. We're gonna be looking at the soldier today. Very powerful class, very fun class. Uh, I also got, I wanted to note, I've gotten some feedback on my show. I always love getting feedback. One of them was, uh, you should wear a different shirt. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to wear. And that made me think like, yeah, I should probably wear the same shirt more. And the same thing about the intros. I should probably do the intro more. That's right. So yeah, um, the soldier. That's right. It's a... He's a dangerous little guy. He can do a lot of stuff. So uh, we're actually just going to dive right into our first replay today. Because today's episode is indeed called... Sun Tzu said that! Yes, Sun Tzu said that. And Soldier is a good class. Sun Tzu said that! Yes, he said that. He totally said that. And uh, yeah, so I'm just going to load up my first replay here and pray to God that Valve doesn't crash... Crash my game because it's been crashing so much since the last update. Ugh. Goddamn Valve. Fix. So, yeah. Uh, we're actually going to be focusing on um, a few things today. I've actually made notes. I've been really prepared this time. So, today we'll be talking about some following things when it comes to solder. We'll be talking about high ground. We will be talking about corners, rocket jumps, <laughs> reload, and falling back and uh, no overcommitting. So that's right, just got to set my volume. Right, there we go. And now we're going to jump into the first game. He's been submitted by a guy named Virus. He's a faithful companion of this show, I guess. He sends in replays and he's a total awesome, awesome, awesome guy. He lives in New Zealand. And New Zealand totally sucks for having not that much team players too. So we're going to look at a game of him just playing on a map called... Payload race. I don't. I don't remember the map. What's the name of the map? Crap. Doesn't say. Anyway, this map. Payload race. Uh, mirrored map. You're pushing the cart into the enemy base. That's basically what we're gonna do. So I just want to focus on something right here. As a soldier, you have rockets, and rockets are slow, but they do a lot of damage the closer you are. So if you're like right in front of some people, they do about 100 damage. So that means you can two shot almost any class that's not healed. Which is pretty pretty good. So uh, I'm just gonna fo in this replay. It's very good because we're gonna focus around this corners because corners are good. Corners are very very good. So we're just gonna see buyers here running out, jumping. Keep in mind that jumping in Team Fortress 2 does not decrease your speed. Sun Tzu said that. Yes, he said that, and it's totally true. Like you can jump all you want and run forward. It doesn't like decrease your speed at all. It's very good for dodging, like snipers. If you keep jumping, you know they have to like aim up and down. That's right. So we're just gonna see Virus run out here, shoot a few rockets, killing the blue team. More rockets. And notice how he shot at the feet of the player. Like, if you're done training, you know this. Like, shoot at the player's feet. You should always shoot at their feet because they'll get caught in the explosion, and explosion does damage, and damage towards your enemies is always, always good. So keep that in mind. So just look at how he uses the corner to his advantage. Like there's a heavy around a corner, and just look at it. He deals a ton of damage. How much damage has Virus taken? Actually, we can't tell because it won't let us. But he has, yeah, it's taken a few shots, but he's dealt more damage than he's taken, which is really good. And then he uses the corner again, just hides from the heavy and deals damage. Of course, he could just do like a lot of players do and be like, yeah, let's just go out here and attack and die. 
But no, just keeping this corner, you know, keeping it cool. Don't want to overcommit or anything like that. Gotta have my water on my right side, damn it. So that's right. He has the help of an engineer building a mini sentry, trying to haul the forward position. All right. So here he is. Here he is. The Uber sniper going there, and there's the soldier with the new laser rocket launcher. Not that good. So he's still just poking back and forth with his rocket launcher, reloading. And it's like, oh, soldier up there. I'm just gonna turn him into bits. Rocket laser rocket launcher, my ass. Oh, laser rocket launcher is not as good as it may seem. So here he's just running over here, I'm grabbing a health kit probably. Want to be a bit stealthy, but he's just like shooting some rockets, saying like, "Hey, I'm over here. Come get me, guys." He's the medic over there. He's gonna notice at this distance. This is very important. At this distance, uh, the rocket will do about 40 damage each, and you have four rockets, so you can do the math on how much damage you would do. A medic has 150 health. So he's just like shooting, and he actually gets well. He actually gets one, two kills. Two kills, actually. Very nice. Then he's just back here. Oh, a demo man saw him. All right. All right. It's gonna poke forward. Oh, that's a demo man. Get him. Get him. All right. And then he died. That's fine. There was like an engineer behind him, and he was totally in the enemy base. And uh, he was distracting. Oh yeah, that was a sandwich right there. Yeah, man. Awesome. He was distracting a guy from defending the cart. And if here's the thing about like what I always want to emphasize is do the objective of the map. Just like if you just go kill people, yeah, it's cool. You kill people, but if you don't do your objective, the other team's gonna win, even if you kill them more, if that makes any sense. So we saw Virus do something very nice there. He uh, he used a corner to his advantage. He uh, just he like the heavy is so big and fat and easy to hit. And he did a lot of damage to the heavy. He didn't kill him, but he couldn't make the heavy run forward because he run for he'd run forward, he'd die. Is what would have happened. So yeah. Dude, oh, please! <laughs> Damn it! I'm just like, please don't crash, and then he crashed. Damn it, Valve! Sunsu said that. Yeah, Sunsu said that as well. <laughs> but that doesn't matter. We'll try again. God, please, Valve, fix your replays. I had so many awesome replays as the virus, but they got corrupted because the CTF SMG index couldn't be found. Or some shit like that. Fix it, Valve. Do it now. It's not like you don't have the money. <laughs> Gay Ben. So yeah, while this loads, let's consult the chat. Yeah, the map was called Pipeline. Thank you, Virus. So just gonna let the uh, Team Fortress load again. I know that if I hold control while loading, it crashes. It crashes. Which isn't that good. There we go, he loaded. Let's see. So, uh, we're actually going to be focusing on a map called Payload Thunder Mountain. That's right. Thunder Mountain is a pretty big payload map. It's really, really big, really open. There's three stages, and we're going to mainly be focusing on that because you can do a lot of fun stuff with Soldier Day, like jumping around. So, lots of corners, lots of high ground. We're going to be looking at the the things we mentioned before, which is we're going to focus as on soldier, is a high ground corners, rocket jumps, reload, falling back, not overcommitting. And what I mean by not overcommitting is like, don't run into the enemy spawn and die on defense is like a good example of that. So I'd really love it if the game would not crash again. Because we just had an update, and we're like, yeah, Valve, we, we optimized the game so that it will crash more. <sighs> all right, all right. It's almost done, it's almost done. <sighs> Come on! Damn it. What the... <sighs> <sighs> no, are you... It crashed. Are you fucking serious? Are you fucking... <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's just play some uh, comforting music in the while well, we we pray to God that this thing works. <sighs> ah, God, Valve. 
smooth in the background. All right. While I try and get this thing to work. Damn. All right. All right, cool. We're back. We're back. Don't crash. I, I just watched all the replays. It only crashed like 12 times, but that doesn't mean it has to crash again. Oh, come on. Why do you have to make it so crashy? My computer is fine. It's a Samsung RF laptop thing. All right. All right, we're back. All right. So we're going to be focusing on this map. It loaded. It crashed. Holy shit. That's so awesome. So this is uh, me, obviously, with the team captain. And this is uh, Thunder Mountain. We covered this map before. And we're just going to look around the map. Just like have a little look-see. And we know that Soldier, you can rocket jump, basically. So, I mean, you can rocket jump up here. And there's like some corners you can hide around here. And there's stuff here. You can jump up here. It's like generally a lot of stuff you can do. Which will be nice. We'll just, just have this generic replay here. It's going to run out. I'll look around. It's like, yeah. Oh, there's people up there. Just going to spam some rockets there because... The reason I'm doing this is because I don't see anyone here. I mean, I didn't see this heavy, but I see people up there. So I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to shoot some rockets, do some damage, and then I'm going to reload. Then I'm going to rocket jump. A rocket jump is uh, very hard. Uh, hard to get into, but you can keep trying anyway. Killing the sniper. And here's how rocket jumps work in a nutshell. Like, this is the, like there's like tons of guides on how to rocket jump. Like, I'm not a good rocket jumper, but... Generally, what you do is that you look down, run forward, and then you dump, juck, and shoot almost simult simultaneously at the same time, and then you fly up. And then you can, that's the ground, you go up, and if you use the wall, you fly to the side, you know, that's basically how it is. So what I do is that when you see me twitch, uh, basically what I do is I aim behind myself in an angle that's just like not straight down, but like slightly behind me, and then I jump, duck, and shoot, like, jump, duck, shoot, like that, only faster. All right, so let's go back here. I just killed a sniper. I'm gonna poke up here, and uh, what's here? Oh, there's an engineer that has a level three sentry without the dispenser supporting it, and it's totally open, undefended. <laughs> Not a very good uh, sentry position. And then we have a sniper and a soldier, and what else? Not much else. So it's basically me versus those guys, plus that I have the element on surprise. And look, I am fucking. I am ready to kick some ass, that's right. So let's see how this goes. All right. What did I kill? I just shot there. I killed the engineer. And notice they use a corners. Like I can kill the sentry without actually 